In Outriders, the first major choice you'll make is deciding which character class to pick. You won't be able to change it once you do, so make sure to go with the right one or risk having to start a new character. It's a hard choice, but we're here to help. John, Luke, Max, Phil, and I have each played as one of Outrider's four classes. Devastator, Trickster, Pyromancer, and Technomancer. To break down which is right for you. If you enjoy the video, be sure to drop us a like, and subscribe for more video content about Outriders and other shooter RPGs. Let's start with Outrider's take on the tank class, the Devastator. The Devastator commands gravity, ripping apart the Earth around them both as a means of protection and offense. The Devastator is all about overwhelming force and close-range combat, encouraging you to use your abilities to stagger enemies while you repeatedly crush them with intense damage. As a result, if you go with this class, you should be opting for powerful guns that can cut down small enemies quickly. Think assault guns like assault rifles and LMGs, and especially shotguns. You should also be someone who regularly remembers to pay attention to how you can control the battlefield long enough to get up close where you can do the most damage. However, just because you can rush into a fight and soak up damage does not mean you always should. The Devastator is the tank class, yes, but it's a strategic tank. You can endure a bit longer than the other classes, but you will be easily overwhelmed without a plan. Interrupting and stunning enemies is key to winning as the Devastator. This is not the class for you if you want to fight without using cover. Using abilities like Earthquake from Cover allows you to deal damage and temporarily stun enemies, which you can then rush and take out. Likewise, you can use your abilities to quickly get out of a jam and back to cover as well. As a final note, the Devastator's unique healing mechanic requires they must regularly fight at close range. So you will die if you play too carefully and always hide behind cover. At some point, you do need to go out and fight up close. Knowing when to pull back and when to push forward is the trick to mastering the Devastator. It's not very hard to figure out though, and you should pick up a natural rhythm fairly quickly. Next up is the Trickster, or Outrider's take on the Rogue class. Like the Devastator, the Trickster excels in close range combat. However, this class is more for folks who prefer hit and run tactics. As a result, cover is not your friend if you're playing as the Trickster. In fact, staying in one place for too long will almost always lead to death. Through control of space and time, the Trickster can teleport across the battlefield and temporarily freeze enemies and bullets in place. Because the Trickster is all about outmaneuvering the enemy through speed, grab firearms that dish out damage quickly. Shotguns and fully automatic assault guns are ideal, as are pistols or revolvers. Playing as the Trickster means that you need to be someone with excellent positional awareness. Teleporting blindly is not good. As a hit and run class, the Trickster excels at temporarily stunning enemies with abilities like Temporal Blade and then getting out of danger with abilities like Borrowed Time. Additionally, the Trickster has a lot of abilities geared towards stunning multiple targets at once in order to give you time to focus on the biggest threat. This is not the class for you if you like cover-based shooters. The Trickster should never hide, instead relying on its abilities to disrupt the enemy's formation and chip away at them bit by bit. This is the class for players who like to overwhelm an enemy through sheer aggression. To wrap up, the Trickster also heals by killing at close range. However, it doesn't heal by as much as the Devastator. Instead, kills at close range both heal and provide a shield for the Trickster. This shield is what will protect you long enough to rush the next enemy, without taking too much health damage. It's not much though, you can't tank shots as easily as the Devastator can. The Pyromancer commands fire, existing as Outrider's resident mage. Like the Trickster, the Pyromancer is a fragile class. However, instead of mitigating that disadvantage with speed, the Pyromancer excels in outright firepower. If Outrider's firearms don't impress you nearly as much as the game's superpowered abilities, then the Pyromancer is for you. Which isn't to say that you won't be using guns. If you go Pyromancer, you'll likely be rocking mid to long range weapons like semi automatic assault guns and sniper rifles. But the Pyromancer is the only class to have an innate boost to its ability damage, and most of the cooldowns on its abilities are pretty fast. This is Outrider's only class where you should always be leading an attack with your abilities. For lack of a better term, Going with Pyromancer is a slow burn. This class eventually becomes incredibly powerful, but it doesn't start out that way. In fact, of all four classes, the Pyromancer may be the hardest one to start with. It doesn't truly come into its own until you've unlocked enough abilities to pose a threat. On top of that, the Pyromancer can't simply kill enemies to heal like the other classes. It first needs to mark targets with abilities and then kill them. Early on, when you only have one or two abilities, that can be tricky. As a result, the Pyromancer is one of Outrider's classes that struggles a bit when you're playing on your own. Consider only going with this class if you know you're good at cover-based shooters, or you plan on teaming up with friends. That said, like we said before, the Pyromancer is a powerful class once you've unlocked a few abilities. Many of its powers are geared towards keeping enemies at bay, like Heatwave. Others, like Thermal Bomb, can cause massive chain reactions of damage. 
The Pyromancer is all about using your powers to keep enemies just far enough away that they can't overwhelm you, but also just close enough that you can use your abilities to kill half a dozen at once and get all your health back. It's a tricky class to master, much more so than the Devastator and Trickster. And finally, there's the Technomancer, which is the closest Outriders has to a Summoner class. Only instead of calling in beasts to help you during combat, the Technomancer uses its powers to summon gadgets like mines, turrets, and rocket launchers. The Technomancer excels at a distance, using its abilities to freeze and poison any enemy that tries to get too close. Enemies can also be slowed or distracted with turrets, and once the enemy is weakened from poison or frozen in place, they're an easy headshot away from death. As a result, the Technomancer is the class for those who enjoy using precision-based weapons, like long-range rifles and snipers. But the Technomancer is also the class for folks who like coming up with cool combos. When fighting at close range, the Technomancer doesn't have much in ways of utility. So this class needs to build good high damage combos to deal with threats before they close in. For example, one of the Technomancer's best combos is freezing an enemy and then using Pain Launcher, which causes your helpless foe to soak up a ton of damage all at once. The Technomancer is an outlier, that is the only class that doesn't heal through killing enemies. You instead heal by a fraction of how much damage you deal against an enemy. It's not by much though, so you don't want to get too close to enemies and get overwhelmed. Beyond the incentive of not dying, the Technomancer also has another reason for being Outrider's default long-range class. Of all the classes, the Technomancer is the only one to gain increased damage when fighting from long range. So when you fight from afar, you both deal more damage and heal by a greater amount. And that's our breakdown of Outrider's four classes. Now that you know how they work, which class are you going for? Or will you end up trying a few? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on more Outriders coverage, like our tips you should know and video review.